The Point Overlook Museum and Creative Impression Studio are proud to bring you the first in a series of the History of Wheeling videos. The old Exchange Bank, built in the mid-1800s, now the site of Fed One at the corner of 12th and Main. Built for Columbus Day celebration in 1892, this arc spanned Market Street at the corner of 12th. 1933 Christmas Parade on Market Street. Note, Santa being pulled by real reindeer. Fourth of July celebration in 1919 at the old Hemfield train yards. This is now the site of the Ohio County Library and the Social Security Office. Note the electric company building in the background and the changes over the years. Here we have Short Market Street in 1928. Note the old Model T's and streetcar tracks. This street still looks very much the same today. Nationally famous Marsh Stogies, shown here in 1960, still looks very much the same today. Looking north into Old Town Wheeling, picture taken in 1911. Note all of the trees lining the streets in one of Wheeling's most prestigious neighborhoods. Today, it looks very much the same, with a lot of renovation taking place to keep the old flavor of Old Town alive. Beautiful Virginia Street on Wheeling Island from 1939, looking towards the suspension bridge. Note the beautiful planters located in the middle of the street. Today, the planters are gone, but the street still remains as the main entrance onto the suspension bridge. Seen at the 1948 Christmas Parade at 10th and Market Street. Ninety years span at 12th and Main Street, Fed One Building from 1904 to 1994. 14th and Market Street in 1950, lined with retail stores. Today, large buildings and parking lots occupy the space. 1936 10th Street. Note the streetcars and the old Willing Hotel. This scene looks very much the same today. Minus the streetcars and the old Willing Inn is now only occupied by a few businesses. The historic suspension bridge, shown here in 1895. A horse and buggy travels across the suspension bridge which only light traffic and pedestrians can use today. The Wheeling Skyline from Wheeling Island in 1890. Note the similarities in the skyline of 1890 and the skyline today. Wheeling's Gateway to the West, the National Road in 1925. Shown here with old Model T cars crossing the only way across the Ohio River. The old laundry building seen here in 1925 is now owned by the Holly Corporation and also houses several businesses. Shown here in 1885, Stone and Thomas is still Willing's oldest department store. Still looks very much the same today as it does a booming retail business. The old French Inn at the corner of 14th and Chapman Street, built in 1829. This has been replaced by a parking lot that now accommodates the parking for the church. The north end of the old market house, shown here with cars parked on both sides of the street. 
Now, the pedestrian mall occupies the space where the old market house once stood. Williams Waterfront, shown here in 1904, one of the busiest ports in America. Today, this site is the home of the Wharf Parking Garage. Looking east, on the alley beside the Holly Building, was once the entrance to the old steel bridge. This 1932 photograph shows a streetcar turning on to the bridge as it carried passengers to the other island. The Miller Hotel, shown here in 1935, this space is now occupied by the McClure Hotel's parking garage. This site is 12th and Chapman Street. The Grand Opry House of 12th and Market Street, shown here in 1895, is now the location of the Laconia Building. 14th and Main Street in 1905, now the site of the new Artisan Center, an intermodal garage. Electric streetcars occupied Willing Streets in 1917. Here shown on Main Street, one of the busiest streets in Wheeling, an old streetcar carries its passengers up and down the hill. All aboard for the Freedom Train, shown here on the Pennsylvania Lines in 1945. This is now the site of Wheeling's water activities with the amphitheater and beautiful gardens. The Old Stone Bridge, shown here in 1901, connecting Center Wheeling to South Wheeling. This was one of the first bridges of its kind when it was built in the late 1800s. Here it is shown today, still in use, as Main Street runs across it. Wheeling Public Library, shown here in 1911, today is used as a reception hall and also has a third story added to it. Nineteen thirty-eight steam locomotive parked in center wheeling, sitting on one of the old sandstone walls which once carried the mighty locomotives all around the city. These sandstone walls still remain as a memory of the days of locomotives. The Venia Bakery, shown here in 1905, this building still stands today at 22nd and Main Street and is still used by a bakery. 22nd and Market Street in 1895. Shown here over 100 years apart, the street still takes on the same characteristics of the days of old. Note the steeple of St. Alphonsus Church in the background. 1935, Willings Bus Station, now the site of the old Sears building, which now houses the HRC Senior Center. Note the old streetcar tracks making the turn onto 11th Street. The historic McClure Hotel, shown here in 1904, one of Willings oldest. Note the streetcar tracks and horse-drawn buggies. This space is now occupied by the new McClure, with a facelift for 1994. 12th and Market Street looking west in 1892. Note the boys on the bicycles and the arc in the middle of the street. The Old Castle Jail shown here in 1904. This space on the corner of 15th and Oak Street is now occupied by the Ohio County Jail, which is no longer in use. The b &O train station in 1936. The elevated tracks are gone today, but the beautiful b &O building still stands, housing Willings Community College. The Pythian Building, shown here in 1936. Owned by the Knights of Pythias, this building no longer stands, but remnants of this building today overlook the park 
owned by the Northern Community College. The 1400 block of Market Street, shown here in the 1907 flood. This block today still houses many of its original buildings and several businesses occupy their spaces. The Rally Building in 1880. Today, this is the site of the West Banco Banking Group. Twelfth and Market Street in 1940, known as the busiest intersection in West Virginia, shown here today is still one of Willing's most active intersections. 11th Street, looking west, in 1901, still looks very much today as it did at the turn of the century. Most of the buildings are still standing. A 1948 view of Chapman Street, looking north, and here it is today. The German fire insurance building, built in 1906, is now home for wheeling attorneys. The Paxton House, shown here in 1898, today is a beautifully renovated building housing several businesses. Ohio Valley Battery, shown here in 1975. Today, this space is occupied by Willing Powers Parking Lot. 